What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Anthony A.J. Joshua. Get this, Joshua brutally claims that he's glad Tyson Fury is an undisputed champion. Wow. <clears throat> Anthony Joshua shared his brutal verdict on heavyweight rival Tyson Fury as he claims that he's glad that he's that his British foe isn't undisputed champion. He said, I'm glad Fury isn't the undisputed champion. I just think he's an idiot. If it was someone else, I might think it was a shame that all four belts won't be on the line. I've always said that he's an idiot. He's very disrespectful, not in a way I care about, but I just feel like he thinks by stepping on other people that makes him feel better. Hmm. Joshua continued his tirade saying that the way he disrespects Usyk wasn't good for the sport. He says, <clears throat> I'm not in competition with anyone. I'm in my own lane, but he has to step on people to make himself feel good. And that's not good. The way he, the way he disrespected Usyk, calling him a rabbit, this, that, and the other, And the middleweight, and the the middleweight this and the middleweight that, it's not good for the sport. If you respect, if you if I respect you and you respect me, we can lift the sport up. And people think we are two of the most elite box fighters in the world. But Fury will step on you and make you look like a guy who's just walked out and out the pub, and he's not on your level. Then he goes and gets spanked. He deserves it. <laughs> those are the words of Anthony Joshua. Let me counterpunch. Um, hey, man, if, if Joshua feels that way, I mean, he has every right to. Because if you look at and you listen to the legacy of trash talk that Tyson Fury has said about everybody, about Wilder, about Usyk, about Joshua, about White, about every really everyone that he's pretty much either talked about fighting or uh, been associated with in a possible fighting match, he said something foul about. But <clears throat> me personally, I don't think Tyson Fury is like a guy that just steps on people and gets off on stepping on people. I think if you know Tyson by now, Tyson Fury is a type of person that... That's a part of his mind games. That's a part of his psychological uh, repertoire, right? That's one of his tricks of the trade. I don't think Tyson dislikes anybody. I think, I think what it is with Tyson Fury, Tyson Fury does what he does because that's what he's been doing for the longest. He loves you one day. He hates you another day. He talks trash about you one day. Then he congratulates you another day. I mean... I think for Joshua to be glad that Tyson Fury got beat, it's common, okay? It's common simply because it's like, okay, the trash talker that talked all that shit has got beat. Bravo. Right? But, at the, but I understand there's more levels and layers to Tyson Fury than just him being a trash talker. You know, he's also a family man. He's also, you know, uh, a God-fearing man. He's also a guy that actually cares for other people. You know what I mean? He just does it and shares it in different sporadic ways. See, <clears throat> when someone that's sporadic like Tyson, you have to take the good and with the bad. You know, now he did a very long tirade on... Usyk, he did. Did he deserve that ass whooping? Yeah, he did. Honestly, <laughs> he did. You know, now am I glad he's not champion? Well, it, I don't think it comes down to something that severe because he does have an opportunity to redeem himself. You know, but then again, this is AJ's perspective versus my own. Right, AJ's like, I'm glad he didn't win. You know, which we talk about that for a second. It would be better if 
uh, good and bad. It would be good for Joshua to make his comeback to see one of the biggest fights in British history of this era between himself and Tyson Fury had Tyson Fury won. So that's one element. The second element to this is, well, maybe he should be glad because of the result. The result was what? Okay, Joshua got beat two times by Usyk. Then Usyk goes and beats Tyson Fury. So guess what? Tyson Fury is no better than Anthony Joshua. And Anthony Joshua is no better than Tyson Fury. Unless Tyson Fury can beat Alexander Usyk in the rematch. Okay, so it still kind of comes down to that point, but that point hasn't happened yet. So since it hasn't happened yet, you're looking at things like, okay, well, maybe, just maybe, you know, those guys may be in the same boat. And Joshua's like, well, hell, I'm glad he's not in the boat that I'm not in. I'm glad he's in the same boat that I'm in because we both got beat by Alexander Usyk. In fact, I didn't almost get stopped. A lot of people might debate that. You know, because I mean, the twelfth round was kind of, you know, but he wasn't he wasn't as hurt as Tyson Fury, no way. Okay, if you guys say that, watch it again. <laughs> you know what I mean? But, um, but back to Tyson Fury though. Like uh, Tyson Fury, does he have to step on people for the sport? I, no, he doesn't. I think he just chooses to, but I don't think that's his overall um, final verdict on how he feels about people and sportsmen. You know, again, there's layers to Tyson Fury, and Tyson Fury's not as bad as the context that people put him in when they do hear him go off on calling AJ, you know, uh, a, a big stiff dalsa or Alexander Usyk a rabbit and a middleweight and a gappy teeth tooth ugly little bastard. So I, but you know, because you know he said more than just that. Okay, so if you have the yin. You got to have the yang and you have to talk about him in his entirety. But you guys tell me what you think about Anthony Joshua stating that he's glad that the idiot Tyson Fury didn't win the undisputed championship of the world over Alexander Usyk. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunch. Peace.